start. Right, welcome to uh, the channel. This is the first of two videos today, believe it or not. This is Glen Isler, set up in Scotland in uh, Perthshire. This is by Scuderia. Now, I'll start it in the simple mode, but I'm going to come out of there fairly soon. I'm just going to look around. He's not, he hasn't built this ready for the ready-made farm. So there isn't much of a ready-made farm. This is what you get. Those fagels, and I ain't going to run for them, as you can see, it's just about enough to start. A, grain, a large grain silo, and I think that is about it. But this is built, and I'll just show you the map, and we'll have a proper look at it in a moment. This is built for one of the build it yourself, so either as a farm manager or start from scratch. And I'm playing myself at start from scratch on this, and it's, it's great fun. You've got two start areas. <laughs> Uh, the second one is down here, and I think we have to go to the vial gas. Just have a quick look at it. Point myself in the right direction. I'll get past this first. And then we go and have a quick look, well, a proper look, on the uh, main mode. This is... Oh, I can't get over there. Yeah. I'm weak and weedy. I'm going to have to go out through the, through the gate. But you've got two start areas. So this would be perfect for a, you know, a small multiplayer. You know, not even having to think of where to build a second farm. This is your second start area. And, we, and what I shall do now is... Now you've just seen the start bit. I'm going to cut here and come back in a little while. Well, for you it would be no time at all. And we will uh, have a look at it in a uh, hard mode. And there we have a proper map tool. Right, welcome back. This is Glen Isla, and we'll have a no look at it properly, a proper tour around. I'll just uh, tell course play. And there's also going to be a slight test of course play, because I thought we'd, we'd have a look at that as well. Now, this is your start area. But we will go down to the shop, and I will then pick up a, a vehicle to run us round. Right, I, whilst we've got this map up, let's have a look. This is your farm area number one, farm area number two. We'll just see what you get. If you buy this one, you get field one, and it's going to cost you 251,000. Right, now if you buy the other one, that gives you the biogas plant. No fields, just the biogas plant, but that is going to cost you 226 hours. But you could actually make a field out of this area, this room. I was, oh, you've got the grass here, perfect for the biogas gas. But before we go on, let's pick up, oh, we've got to take it out of this, then. <laughs> Fool, idiot I am. Now, as I say, this is by Don, uh, Scooter here. Now, I know Scooter here, reasonably well. We have multiplayer to go back on FS15, it was. Using one of his maps. Um, there was Bipolar Prophet, Shawnee B, myself, and Scooter here. And we had quite a bit of fun. And I kept getting lost on his maps. <laughs> it's hard to believe because his maps are normally quite straightforward. I'll just buy the Mahindra. Don't normally drive this, so this could be worth a laugh. And we can take, take a proper tour around, and then we'll have a quick look at the uh, course play. Where is it? It's over here. Now, standard uh, garage, quite straightforward, nice and neatly done. Nice bits of mess all over the place to show it's a working garage. As you can see, you got your pallet truck, you got your lifter, your engine lifter, you got your car lifter or your vehicle lifter inside there. Old tyres, or new tyres by the looks of those. I think a bit small, but they look more like motorboat tyres. Uh, oil drums, you know, your normal stuff you get. That must be a fill point. I don't know if that actually works or not. I haven't tested that. I haven't had to yet. So we're just getting the Mahindra and have a look round. 
and I haven't turned my headphones on. I can't hear a thing. That's better. Oh, I always forget my headphones. Oh, yes. All your bits come up where this came up. And there's room for have plenty of stuff here. Now, there is traffic on this map. I'm going to try and drive this out of cab so you can see the map itself. We're right at the edge of the map, bottom uh, northwest, uh, southwest corner, not northwest. And there is traffic. And here, head dot the devil, here come one. It's not overly busy, the traffic, I'm glad to say. I don't like the traffic where it's too busy. But this is about right. You've got time to uh, nip out. Fields stretch from... Let's see if we can get up here, Ken. From this is your, about your biggest field. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this is your biggest field. But most of them are, are small to medium the fields. We we'll just go the proper way out, shall we? And we'll make our way to the first cell points. Because it nips along a bit, doesn't it? I think the uh, way out is near 19. I oh, probably should actually call across first to have a quick look at the BGA. We uh, just had a, a glance at it and that was all. I think there's a path, there's a roadway here. Oh, no there isn't. Ah, it's alongside this one. We'll soon find out anyway. That's looks like I've gone wrong right from the start, that's unusual. Well, this is, this is a cell point, we have a look at this cell point first, what we're here. Now, like Cavalier Roy, there's limited cell points. They're not quite as limited as Cavalier Roy on Maypole. Here is your main grind cell point. You get in either way and go around either way, you need to if you're using course play because here's your tips. There's two cell points and they actually pay different amounts. Well, you know, as you can see, cell point one is 606 and cell point two at the moment is 682 for wheat. Standard prices at the moment I've got this set to default on prices which is uh, where is it? Norm yeah, normal economic difficulty. I normally set when I'm playing I have it set to hard. You know, just as the the way I rock. Alright, that's the first cell point. We'll come back to BGA near the end. We'll jump across it. It's going to be quicker. Now on the way I get lost. And you all seen me long enough to know I can get lost in a map with just one road that goes north, south, and nothing but branching off it. Next cell point is down here. This should be the barn. And the nice thing, I like these buildings. If you look through the windows here, let's just back up a bit. You can actually see inside. As you get closer, because the definition goes, but from a distance of where you would be normally, they look rather good. I think that is excellently well done. Wherever you got those buildings from, they really do suit. Right, your next cell point is up there. This is the barn. Not it's a barn, it's the stables. This is where straw, hay, grass, and I think silage. I'll just double check that. Where are we? There we are. Silage, uh, straw, and it looks like hay. It doesn't can't see any, any sign for grass, but you wouldn't normally sell grass anyway, and I wouldn't have thought grass would be that much. But that's your sell point for those. You just tip them into this area here, nice and easy. And it's a nice throughput. So you come in one end and go out the other. Nicely done, and there's another sell point, which takes it to the next sell point. Roads are not... Not many, but you don't need many. The narrow. Remember, this is uh, up in Scotland, and I would imagine it's quite a rural area. Of Scotland. This is based on. Now, this is another one of those maps I, I like. Now, 
I will just say now, you won't see me looking at big open maps. I don't like and it wouldn't be fair on the map maker if I was to look at them because I'd just pull holes in them because they're not my style. And I know some people have been pulling holes in one of Roy's maps because it's not their style. You shouldn't be testing it if it's not your style. Or you should be able to forget it. Now where this is the animal by point I think here. Yeah, here we are. Animal by point. Not certain what Oh, is this where you drop the wool off? Oh, this is where the wool and cotton will be dropped off in here. I haven't done any of that yet. In fact, uh, I've got things set so it's fairly hard to make money on it. This isn't as hard as one of Roy's maps to make money. And you've got a little road out the back here. I'm not certain where this takes you. Let's have a look. Ah. I see. There's another. Is this another cell point? Ah, oh, wood chips. This is the lumber yard. I never been there. I, as you know, I don't do lumber. I just don't like forestry at all, so that doesn't get done. But I'm glad to see there is a forestry bit in here for those who like it. And if you like it, why not? It's just that's not my style. Uh, bring me back to the point I was making. I wish testers would test to what they like, not what they don't like. And if they don't like it, try and forget the fact you don't like that style. Just test. And now Roy was rather upset the other day, and I don't blame him. And yes, I know Roy, and I like Roy, and I like Scooter here. Yeah. And both make excellent small maps. Now this one, just to prove it, we'll find a hedge is fully climbable edges and a lot of little roads which go nowhere we'll take some of the we'll take a back road here if we come up here we should about turn off we'll come past it here little dirt roads and these dirt roads are well done grass grown in the middle of the track small fields at this end this is near your first start point, your first farming start point you see there's fields here all ready to go and if you want to start farming here this is your first farm if you want a field in fact, that's actually... God, I wish I'd start on this one. What would I start on? This hadn't grown yet. It's wheat in there, but it hadn't grown. Been half fertilised. I was ready to harvest, go. I could have had money straight away. When I started on there, uh, it had only just been planted when I got in. Right, that's your... That's the your start point. You see plenty of room here. Plenty of grass here if you want to do silage. Without even bothering to do much of the field. And the other thing, oh wait a minute, we go through the we go through the field area. If I can uh, out a cab actually drive through the gap here. This isn't your normal way in. And I would suggest if you do this, app try to go around without uh, destroying the crop. That you get the tent mod as your home from uh, PCSG Darren Castle's tent mod. It's excellent, and it fits well in this map. And what I'm going to do with mine is once I have the wheat in here, I'm going to plow all this in and make this one large field. Now you see, with collidable hedges, Scuderia has decided for people who like using. Uh, um, was it farmhand or whatever the auto system is called for a giant a vanilla system he's made big runoff areas so it can work the course play has no problems even close in at the moment it it's running very well and uh, we have a look around and I'll just run course play on one of the fields and we'll just see what's happened now we're near the top edge of the map here and, uh, 
and we come down the main road over this bridge okay look there's plenty to see in the map I know I'm on the wrong side of the road so we are in Bonnie Scotland I just want to check for the next oh there's forestry area we'll go and have a look at that not that I do much forestry in fact one of the early first days of this I think your second start map was up this end in a bigger field your second start area but I think it's a good idea to have the BGA as a start area because you could actually start in with that and this is your forestry area uh, just watching carefully how close to the edge of the map we're getting Whoa, as you can see I can't drive without a cab. I I panic. Now first time I looked at this and it has got the uh, forest terrain or the graphics put in, little plants all over the place and these are your trees for cutting down. A little bit easier than what I always to get to, but still still not easy because you've got these ones up at the top of the cliff there that's your forestry area quite a large area but looks like <laughs> not that that concerns me I tell you what I might just buy that area clear fella and then farm it now what just checking where we've got to go next I think we've done most of the cell areas there's not a great number but I think that takes in everything you've got to sell. So we have a look down at the biogas plant, and if we take, we're here, we come across between 14 and 12, and flip. Well, let's let's see what happens. Now I'm actually going to be showcasing this more in about two weeks' time, uh, for about five, six weeks, somewhere around there. The uh, contracting series will come from Persia. I'm moving from Ireland, which is where Maypole is situated, up to Persia for, for a few weeks, up to Glen Isla, and we will be farming here. Now, let's, let's just stop for one moment and have a look at the food. I think this looks another gorgeous map. Now, one thing I will say, I have darkened the uh, brightness on 19 I have it set to 0 0.7 that's in the advanced graphics before you load a map in you go to first two that loads in you've got your options graphics and I think it's advanced graphics in there you find uh, brightness it's set to one I have set it down to 0 0.7 I try it lower but uh, towards it lower it's a bit too low but this I think is about right because it hasn't got the washed out look that's just an, an aside, that's how I I run mine. I was getting, the, you still get a bit of snow blindness, or sun blindness on days, but uh, for the most part now I can actually run this quite happily. And just to slow down, because I've also got the engine brake mod on here, so it tends to mean vehicles run away with me. Whoa, come up back a bit. Now you've got some interesting fields to harvest. 16 up here as you see it's on quite a slope so it's a variety of fields it's not a flat map well, I don't think Scooter has ever made a flat map and by the way if you're still playing 17 and you want a good map Brit uh, British style what uh, more precisely Irish style try Drummond it's an excellent map also by Scooter here it's the one that Bipolar Prophet is playing and uh, having his multiplayers on. It's an excellent map. I've played it quite a bit. I think I may have played that with Scooter Air as well. I know it's on there for a multiplayer. BP and Shawnee B were on there and I think Scooter Air might, might have joined us. I can't remember now. But uh, Scooter Air's actually retired a couple of times. He retired at the end of 15 and came out of retirement with Mate Drummond, especially for a mate of his who actually works on that farm it's based on made a few changes to it which he had to oh I like this I hadn't noticed it before I'd never been down this path I do like this textures here 
Well, that has had gravel shoved into it to fill some of the holes in. Well, there's still holes there. Ah, yes. Ten out of ten for just for this pathway. It, let's see, it's one of those maps that really does look good. And here's the BGA, because you can't use the BGA until you bought it. Well, I'm not quite certain why Giants have done that. It seems a bit of a uh, odd step, really. Especially as they know I don't have even allowed tip into these or not. But I like the uh, new tip thing. But I actually prefer to have uh, that Johnny V and Stevie and one or two others done. I think Bullet Bill may have well done on 17 of sinking the uh, in, uh, grinder into the ground so you could tip into it properly. Right there, that's a by the by. There's no nice BGA, nothing, nothing extra special, but it's just nice. It, I think we actually seen most of the map, so I'm gonna, on whilst we're here, I'm gonna leave that there and we're gonna do a quick mission. Just to show off that, uh, uh, ah, we've got one furlough, and that's what I actually wanted. That's simpler to do. But bar items, that's, we're not going to make any money on this, but I don't need to. Alright, we're back, and we're just tab off to that. And we need just buy one big bag of solid fertilizer by, yes. Now this map is on PCSG, and thank you Scooter Air for using us, um, much appreciated. We're always happy to, to have good modders aboard. And remember we do not put anything on we haven't got the rights to put on. We don't do too much testing now. I find that most modders are very good. They won't put anything on, which is rubbish anyway. Get back to her girls. No, we need to back into that. Just fill that up. We will actually make a, a loss on this one because the cost of the I oh, know which one was it now, it's field four, field four is right up at the top. I'm going to get in the cab to do this I'm afraid because I can't drive. I, I don't need to go any further, I just can't drive, but I certainly can't drive out of cab. I am using Sh Mowgli shuttle with the uh, well, the other add-on for the vehicles. I've got both of them running on here as you can see. I use the other one because it tells you what damage is on the equipment. As far as I can see, it doesn't tell you anywhere for another game. You actually have to, every now and again, uh, go through and, uh, and repair them. we we'll go straight. We'll keep on this road. We'll go through the... ain't so much a town, more a, a small village. But this, this looks good. This looks good. There's little touches which I really like. That pathway to the BGA, I love. And this bit. Now we just drive over one of these. Actually work and sleep and please. And if you can gauge it right like that, you can actually miss the uh, humps. <laughs> but those sleep and policemen actually work. They're, they're not just here for show. And I say the, the houses with... You can see the inside the houses. Possibly it's on other maps, but it's the first one I've written, I noticed it on. I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't played too many other maps. I've been playing many Roys, and since this came to pass, I don't think you can't see inside that. It's more a standard house, yeah. This little bridge is rather nice too. It's, so it's little touches and there's the road off to the farm and four should be up 
on our left hand side up here right up the top and six is there one is in there Uh, the, age, the age of breaking mods coming into effect now. I've got, I'm not put anything onto the engine. This is all because it's going downhill. And I just broke really sharp to to try and slow down in time. My four. Let's see that one is. I can't remember which is which. Uh, that's five and six over there. Four must be the far end of these two. There we are, all four. All right, we're going to use course play. This will be the end of this uh, video. But I would say, uh, if you like small maps, you're going to love this one. It's another very, very well done small map. Uh, this is... Field 4, 24, uh, current start point is, headlands 1, don't have to worry so much on this because it should all get round okay, come out care to find out where the start point is, that's here, it should be just an up and down, it is a bit of a very quick look, but you can see that course plate is active and working, this is actually on GitHub at the moment, don't download from anywhere else, this is GitHub is the only place at the moment you'll be certain of getting a genuine item which hasn't been messed with. And there we go. We just back right up. And that's course play doing this. It's not me. I haven't got it on turns. I've just got it on round turns. I haven't got it on proper turns. So you're not getting the centers done. And if you get the centers done, it would be even better job. But I think it's done a very good job anyway. Now it turns off now to get back to where it wants to be. Contract itself is finished, but it's done enough of the field that uh, we let it finish off. Now it's going to start up again because it's going to just catch this bit here, get most of this. I think I'll get it all. All of that, and that's finished. Job done. So that's course play working as well. And we'll just call that in. I'm not going to bother taking it back. And the rest of them are harvest missions. I don't like harvest missions a lot because there's too many times. And it don't matter which map I do it on, there isn't enough grain in the field. But there we are. Look. This isn't Mountains of a. Uh, oh, didn't I? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm not in a vehicle. Couldn't have switched off these things. Let's just get in a vehicle for a moment. No, I have. Thought perhaps I had finished that or probably. Yeah, we know it's finished there. Didn't like the fact I uh, done that. It's still a very much work in progress course play, but it works. I'll just take this. Take this for a quick drive round back to the uh, garage, and that will be it for this one. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. Uh, two things I would say: one is if you want this map, download it from PCSG. Don't download it from any uh, download it from anywhere else because it will be in pirated if, if you find it anywhere else, as far as I'm aware. Also, watch Scooter's channel. He has his own YouTube channel and he's active quite often on long live streams. I don't get much chance to watch him because uh, they tend to be broadcasting as I'm doing other things. Uh, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. It's actually really, I'm jealous of him. Enough talent to make uh, maps like this. And to make very good live streams. <laughs> but the one thing you've got to watch out for, and I will warn you if anybody gets this, there's one of these roads up here where the traffic comes down. I don't know if this one or the other one. And they don't stop when they come to the main road, they keep going. So if you see them coming out, yeah, it must be 
the one further back. If you see them coming out, there we go. You see a sleeping place work. Uh, hold back or prepare to swerve. Be prepared to swerve. I've got no criticisms of maps so far, and I say I've played it quite a bit. I've been through several updates, but this is, I think, the final version at the moment. Unless something else is found, of course, or unless uh, Scooter wants to improve it some more, but I frankly can't see how we can. It's good scenery, good textures. The only textures what I look a little bit, a little bit. Odd. It's only if you get right up close to the house you can see inside it, but that is to be expected. And I would not download, downgrade anything for that. So, to me, this is a must-have. If you like small maps, you like tight British-style maps, this is another very good one to, to think about. So with that, uh, oh... So let's see, uh, I hope I did, oh yeah, I thanked you, didn't I know, uh, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, go on, how about subscribe, I do this sort of thing, a bit of a mess, I, I admit, but I do this sort of thing quite often. Oh, look at that. Well, uh, any comments, questions, queries, uh, suggestions, uh, feel free to write them, uh, I'll put them in the comments section under this video, I read everyone, I acknowledge everyone, and I try and reply to everyone. I don't always succeed in the last, I'm afraid. And, uh, I think that's about it with that at the moment, and cheerio for now, cheerio.